Concept Getters, how are you? I hope everything is good and math is becoming easier and easier, right? I hope you get the concepts of the previous videos and you're going to get the concept of this particular video. Today, we're dealing with general solution. So instead of doing like a, an introduction of a concept and stuff, I'm going to do like different questions. So this one is just going to be one of those questions, right? This video will deal with this specific question and then other videos will deal with different types of questions that require a particular system in simplifying and, 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 and. So let's start with the one that is given here. They gave us 3 times 3a equals to negative 2 cos 3a. So the first thing that you have to do every time when you see tan is to change it to sine over cos, especially if you don't see another part having tan, right? So I'm going to change my tan. I'm going to say 3 tan is basically what? Sine 3a over cos 3a. Then I close and I say equal to negative 2 cos 3a, right? So now I can multiply both the sides by this cos here, by this cos. So it's going to be what? I'm going to say multiplied by cos 3a and this side again multiplied by cos 3a so that I can remove the denominator, right? So I'm going to be left with, I'm going to be left with 3 sine 3a is equal to negative 2 cos 3a times cos 3a will be what? cos squared 3a clear so now i will transpose my negative 2 cos squared 3a to the other side of the equal sign if it goes this side it's gonna be positive so i will have 3 sine 3a plus 2 into well, let me not say into yet you'll see that on the next step so it's gonna be 3a which is equals to zero, right? Now, you see here, I have a sine and here I have a cos squared. I can't change sine, but I can change cos squared. So every time when you have different trig ratios, you must change the one that is changeable and into something else that is not changeable. So I can change cos squared and cos squared according to grade 11 trig identities, it's going to be what? One minus sine squared. So I will change it and say, I have three sine 3a plus 2. Remember, the 2 is outside. So I will say, open bracket, I'm changing cos squared 3a. Basically, it's going to give me 1 minus sine squared 3a. Clear? Then I'm going to say equals to 0. Now it's distribution. I'm going to distribute this and this, right? So it's going to give me what? 3 sine 3a plus 2 minus 2 sine squared 3a, which is equals to 0. Now, you can see this. When you're looking at this, you can see this is sine squared, this is sine, and this is just a constant. If I had an x squared and just x and maybe 2, I was going to start with this, then write this in descending order, right, of degrees, and then write this later. Makes sense? So this is going to be a quadratic equation. So then I'm going to start by writing this one, but I want it positive. So I will divide all the terms by negative, right? Divide all the terms by negative one so that my x squared, the one that has a squared, becomes positive. Clear. So I'm going to do what? I'm going to say positive 2 sine squared 3a. Then remember this one divided by negative one gave me negative 3 sine 3a right and then this positive 2 also became negative after dividing by negative 1 so now i'm going to have minus 2 is equals to 0 so this is a general uh, this is a quadratic equation i can use general quadratic or i can just factorize so if i factorize i'm going to have what i'm going to have something like this is equal to 0 right so i'm going to say 2 sine squared 3a right and then i'm gonna say plus one right factors of two is two and one and then on this side i'm gonna have sine three a and it's gonna be minus two so that when i do this and i do this this is gonna give me minus four sine square sine and then plus sine oh there was no square there. i don't know why i wrote a square here there's not so there's no support so, yeah there shouldn't be a, a square here yeah, you see that squared, I removed it. So I just have this sign here, right? So it's going to be sine 3a 
plus 1 into sine 3a minus 2. Now, I'm, I, now I can use zero factor theorem. Come on, guys. So it's going to be 2 sine 3a plus 1 equals to 0 or sine 3a minus 2 equals to 0, right? And then I make my sine 3a the subject of the formula, right? So I'm going to be left with, I'm going to transpose the 1 and divide by 2 both sides. So it's going to be sine 3a equals to negative 1 over 2. Or here it's going to be sine 3a is equals to 2. Then I can find my reference angle. My reference angle will be 3a is equal to what? Sine the inverse of 1 over 2. Remember, when you use the inverse function of sine, don't insert the negative sign. So if it was negative half like it is right now, you just put in only positive half. If it was positive half, you would still put positive half. We only want positive in here. Do that make sense on your calculate? Then you can say, therefore, your reference angle, which is 3a, will be what? The inverse function of sine half is 30 degrees. So we'll write 30 degrees and you leave it like that, right? But if you haven't noticed, on the other side, here, I had a sine 3a equals to 2. If I try to find my reference angle, I will realize that the inverse function of sine, the inverse function of sine 2 will give me syntax error on the calculator, right? Because of sine only exists between negative 1 and 1. So which means here you just write not applicable. Then you're going to use this one for your general solution. So we're going to move here, right? So our general solution now, we're going to say, remember the step before the inverse function, just the step. You always look at the step before you made your angle the subject of the formula. On that step, you check the sign of the side. You see this side here, this side here. You check the sign. You say, my sign is negative where? My sign will always be negative. You check the Cartesian plane here. You say, my sign, remember, all students take control sine is negative in here and in here do i make sense so if sine is negative on those two quadrants i will use these angles for my general solution clear so that's what i'm gonna do i'll be like i'm taking which quadrants now i'm gonna take the third quadrant and the fourth quadrant so in the third quadrant you're gonna start with the reference angle and say what so basically i'm starting i'm writing here i'm gonna say 3a uh, is equals to you say this theta here is the answer here do that make sense so i'm gonna say 180 degrees plus my theta was 30 degrees right and you say plus k 360 remember it's k 360 for sine and cos k 180 for tan and then for fourth quadrant you're gonna say 3a is equal to what 360 degrees minus my theta is 30 degrees then you say plus k 360 degrees makes sense and then you divide by three all the terms so you're gonna say over three over three over three over three right some would say why didn't i solve it here mr say here why didn't i divide by three no this three here will affect the period so it has to be divided on the general solution so that it can affect the k360 as well that's why we don't solve it there do i make sense so i'm gonna say after finding that i'm gonna say 3a divided by 3 is a is equals to 180 plus 30 it's gonna give me 220 210 210 divided by 3 will give me 210 is 7 14 21 70 degrees right so it's going to give me 70 degrees so i'm going to write 70 degrees and you say plus k 360 divided by 3 would give me 120 so it's 120 degrees and k remember is the element of integers you are done with this first quadrant right you can do this and then on the or oh, 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 you are done with the third quadrant so you go to the fourth quadrant remember you also divide by what you divide by 3 divide by 3 you divide by 3 you divide by 3 right and you're going to be left with what with a is equal to 360 minus 30 is 330 and 330 divided by 3 is 110 so you're going to have 110 degrees 
plus K 120 degrees, right? And remember, K is the element of integers. And then you are done. So this is your general solution. This is your final answer. So guys, general solution is basically this part, if you haven't realized. Just that you have to learn how to simplify Krieg equations. That's why I'm going to do different videos for different types of questions. This one, you can see it required you to change tan to sign over cos, and then it also required you to factorize. So I'm going to give you other videos of other different types until we cover all the types that are examinable. So this is just part one, okay? Otherwise, remember, guys, remember, you guys tend to act like you forgot. You forgot to do what? Remember, especially if you are, if this is your first time coming to our videos, welcome to being part of the Concept Getters. But remember to do what? To subscribe and share. Share with others. We want a lot of Concept Getters in South Africa, in Africa, and in the world, on planet Earth. Actually, in our whole galaxy. Come on. And after sharing, you're going to do what? You're going to like. And you're also going to comment and, you know, engage, engage with other concept getters, ask them, ask me, tell me what next you want me to do, blah, blah, blah. And, and, and. Otherwise, yeah.